to start in the new car. I think right this moment, arriving at uh, RAF uh, Quadro. Oh, yeah, they, they, yes. uh, Royal Navy, not Royal Air Force. Okay, I'm sorry. You, you well, won't yeah. go back to America. Well, they won't let you back to America. Oh, I don't want to go out there yeah. now. I'll just yeah. that. Um, no, but I think arriving here, because it's the perfect place to arrive with the flame, you know, with the, the families that, you know, their families go through so much and put so much on the line, and to arrive back with the flame here, I think that's special. So, right this, this moment right now. Absolutely. Seb? It is this moment. It is this moment because this is the first time for 64 years that we've been in a countdown to an Olympic Games. I think probably the five ambassadors that travelled with us, just watching them, and the excitement of being in the old stadium last night and visiting the schools with them. I mean, it's been the time. They've had the time of their life. And as well, at least it's dry here. You had a bit of rain in Greece, too. Yeah. They had our weather over there, but they did. Yeah. Well, we, we, it was really uh, such is our attention to detail that we, we had to acclimatise the flag. <laughs> it was a test event. It was a test event. As the, as there have been so many test events. They've been good. Yeah, has everything been tested? Has, it, all, has anything remained untested? No, no, all 42 test events. All, all, every sport we've tested. We had 40,000 people in the stadium the night. We had the British University's Track and Field Championships. Those 40,000 tickets all went in 20 minutes, so there's a, there's a big demand. So all the sports have been tested. And the great thing is we're now sort of sitting down with the athletes talking about their experiences, and we've still got, you know, 70-odd days to make sure that we really refine them. The, the difference between the good and the great games will be the work we do in the next 70 days. Yeah. Yeah.